So, you know, it is always changing actually. So kind of our main criteria for high risk, uh, first is any abnormalities of TP53, either a TP53 mutation or a 17P deletion. Um, I think even with our um, you know, most effective therapies, probably those patients are going to have um, an inferior outcome right now. IGHV mutational status is still considered to be an important risk factor, um, although it is less uh, important when you're thinking about treatment options because both BTK inhibitors and venetoclax-based regimens um, perform really well in IGHV unmutated patients. Maybe a little bit longer remission durations with the BTK inhibitor, but again, very good with venetoclax abetuzumab as well. Um, you know, there are a number of other mutations that do confer higher risk, things like SF31, Notch1, but actually Actually, the implication of those mutations on individual therapies, I think, still needs a little bit more work.